And more importantly, double teleport on both these sides here. So we can see explosive bot lanes. We could also see a complete snooze farm fest if they respect the teleports. Depends what these teams bring to the table. Well, we'd like to know what you guys are at least thinking. Who are you calling this one for? Tweet at LOL Esports with the hashtag C. Bait illusion that there's just scouting and then they run into Oh, it's happening again! Level 1 to the Easily do enough damage to turn it around on them. Afro going double lift here, no ward anymore. Yeah, Mylon almost gets knocked out of it. The stun's gonna go down though. Afro does land it up, but he doesn't have an ulti. Damage is good, they get a flash oh, board. Ignite nice should do it. Mylon, Mylon, why didn't you flash any earlier? Dude, the French player on the Brazilian side trying to make it happen as Pobelta's also been applying quite a bit of pressure. Yeah, yeah, here's the roam from Aphromoo. Hex into Great the O. Oh. as well. Double lift is there. Shockwave does not connect. That was some really well. Turret dropping CS. Yeah. Again, it's not much. It's 10 CS, but it means a lot in terms of pressure, too. Pobo is always ready to move first. So here's the line that you now take as Pain Gaming. We want to look at this match from their point of view. They need to clear. Putting the map at this point, CLJ are finally going to chase Pain out of their red side jungle. Look at that from Udo. Good flank here. Oh, the ball's actually caught him. Now they're going to keep moving through. Great ultimate. He pulls out with the fight skull. Truckwave does land on a few, but Double Lift's already gotten a kill. They'll trade back and forth. Zert will die. Now the reset here for Double Lift. He's going to keep jumping. Two for one. Then. There was no way they were going to win that fight. That fight. So cut your losses. Huge flash kick. Kami in trouble. Does die to Zion Spartan. His ex Smithy. Goes full and A on the lead. Here uh, on CLG, and that was, that's what makes it so hard for, for Pain Gaming to find an opening. Unless they push and overextend mid, it's so hard to catch him. At the beginning. Now as well. Oh, interesting teleport here from Zion Spartan. Looking to cut him off. He pops the ultimate. Find someone. It's actually coming in 13. The knock up there from Lulu. Huge damage out there from Zion. Smithy rides in to get the kill and does secure it. Does not have his, they're gonna need to find someone. Mylon's flashed out, it's Smithy looking for the flank, but it gets knocked up. That's not enough, BRTT now is a 4v4. Will ensue, Mylon, good scoop back to keep himself safe, but Afro will get the kill and double. Smells blood there as he rocket jumps straight forward. Good move, go. so Payne have to be careful not to overextend. Yeah, but look at the wave in bottom lane, though. Just done a dodge the cure from X Smithy. He has to go in, good zoning by Sir T. Oh, good great castle. knock up! X Smithy kicks it, but it's not nearly enough. So low here as they do tag Kami, they're going! Shockwave left on the three, doubles caught up! Fade Skull's gonna move in, and he's down there as well! Zion has got Oriana into the back line, and Zion is going absolutely nuts there trying to kill PRTT. He will die, but Mylon will four as well. Mylon was way too late. Pain Gaming needed to communicate better as a team what they want to do. They could have turned that around if Mylon TP'd instantly. But right now, double lift looking to oh, clean up PRTT. He does fall to double lift. This Dragon CLG a little late on the recalls. They might not get this next dragon. PRTT though caught! Kami will protect him there with his ball. Flying from Zion Spartan. Oh, Zion runs in. Rek'Sai does get it. Payne will get the dragon, but at what cost there is Kalista already down. Kami getting fired upon by Double Lift, who's going nuts. As now Mylon gonna get aggressed on this again. In vision. What's, oh. What's changed now that CLG is willing to take the 50-50 compared to before? Maybe they just have to think they have to take it here. They're not going to move in. Are they going to get the Spike steal? Ball. They're going to keep moving in. Dude's going to get hungry. Tim is this good, but Dude's getting very low double. Moving up. Pobelta gets the kill. CLG was a ruse all along. Mylon's going to get stunned up out of his crunch. Now Megano has to move up. But X Smithy is low. Kicks on the Kami. They'll take him out. And CLG get what they want. And BRTT chased Zion that whole way down the river. Oh, double is still chasing them. Only still going, X50 rides in, huge roll out from Mylon by Vietnam, BRTT trying to turn it around, but Zion and double lift, far too far forward, get a crunch all the way through, Pain as BRTT will die for the ace. And poor shot calling again, Kobe, you shouted, it was under 1.5k health that Baron, Certi could have easily channeled over and stolen it with a shockwave, and then Pain Game could have disengaged third ways, maybe drop an inhibitor, but they took a very bad fight because Certi and Kami were in position to steal Baron. They were over the wall when Dude flashed Tibbert, so just poor communication. And Zion Spartan, so intelligent there. He's able to uh, gain BRTT's attention. He chases him halfway down the river. There's no Kalista there. Soaks up a lot of damage only because he knows he can teleport right.
Still she cutting them off though. Yep, now gonna try and look onto Kami. They want to fight, point. they're gonna move in for it. Zaya pops his ultimate out there from Afro as well as he pops down the glacial fissure. Drop wave is not bad, but Kami will die. Zaya low, Milot scoops him oh out of the my. way. But a double kill there for all of us. CLG are gonna run forward. They know they can finish things off. Aggressive flashes, double if goes legendary hero worlds. And that's gonna be game. CLG will knock it down. They will have a much improved second game. Oh! Perfect timing. So yeah, there have been some good plays. That was the good play. Perfectly timed. Spam. We've been tracking team fights, uh -huh. level ones, but synchronized icon usage is something that we really have to track at this event. And CLG, they take the crown with that one. Yeah, Koo had a really good one. They were the first to do yep. it with that ace, but there was a little bit desynced on a couple of them. That one very close to uh, completely in unison. I mean, <laughs> just need that good shot caller, you know? <laughs> well, a little, a few, I think, is that mishaps? a true measure? <laughs> I think a few mishaps here and there. By both teams, honestly, we talked about indecisiveness maybe being a killer, but at the end, CLG, they have a great start to the game, a great mid game. Stumble maybe a bit towards the end, but do clean it out. And they, again, much improved from game one. CLG, after two days of play, will remain undefeated. I mean, a couple of trends still confirmed there. We see why Ping Gaming have elements of, of solid play, but also why their average game time is so long, because some of the late game team fights just bad on point, not good communication. And CLG, a lot of focus on that Baron overall, but in the end, they didn't even need it. They didn't even get it. It was just a, a means to an end here for the bait. Eventually, they found Pain Gaming, but still need to work on those crisp Baron baits because they left some openings for Pain. Yeah, and with that, they are the only undefeated team in their.